GarageBand is a fully equipped music creation studio inside your Mac with a complete sound library that includes instruments and sounds, a perfect addition to your Vocaster setup. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set your Vocaster as your audio device and find your Vocaster's inputs. Let's open GarageBand. Before you start creating and editing, you want to make sure that your Vocaster is set as GarageBand's default input and output device. Simply select GarageBand, Preferences, and a small Preferences window will appear. Under the Audio MIDI tab, locate Devices. Beside Output Device, select Vocaster 2 USB. And then beside Input Device, select Vocaster 2 USB. Let's identify your Vocaster's inputs. To the left of your screen, you'll see your tracks. And by selecting a track and then selecting the Audio Smart Controls button near the top left, a window will appear at the bottom where you'll see the recording settings for the track you've just selected. To set the input to mono or stereo, you can toggle between one circle for mono and two overlapping circles for stereo. We'll be going through each input of your Vocaster in accordance to the two options you see on screen, mono and stereo. Mono inputs. Having selected mono, the inputs you want to be using are as follows. Input 5, your Vocaster's host microphone, shown here on the back panel of your Vocaster and shown here within Vocaster Hub. Input 6, your Vocaster's guest microphone, shown here on the back panel of your Vocaster and shown here within Vocaster Hub. Stereo inputs. Having selected stereo, the inputs you want to be using are as follows. Inputs 1 and 2, video call left and right, is your show mix from Vocaster Hub and what you hear in your headphones and speaker outputs. But this is with loopback 1's left and right channels removed, meaning when used with Squadcast, Zoom and other similar applications, your remote guests will not hear themselves, removing any chance of feedback or echoes occurring. Inputs 3 and 4, show mix left and right, is your show mix from Vocaster Hub and what you hear in your headphones and speaker outputs. This show mix left and right channel can be recorded into a door, allowing you to record your show mix as a stereo recording, not having to mix your show later. Inputs 5 and 6, host microphone and guest microphone, are your Vocaster's host and guest microphone inputs combined. This would be both host and guest inputs being used simultaneously recording a source in stereo. Input 7 and 8, auxiliary left and right, is your Vocaster's auxiliary external input, shown here on the back panel of your Vocaster and shown here within Vocaster Hub. You can use this when you connect a phone to the rear panel of your Vocaster. You can adjust this input from Vocaster Hub and it will adjust the audio level being received from the phone. Any volume changes you make from your phone will also be matched on Vocaster Hub. Inputs 9 and 10, Bluetooth left and right, is your Vocaster's Bluetooth input source, shown here on the back panel of your Vocaster and shown here within Vocaster Hub. You can use this when you're streaming audio wirelessly from a phone or other Bluetooth enabled device. Inputs 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 are your Vocaster's Loopback 1 and Loopback 2 channels, shown here within Vocaster Hub. These two inputs control the level of up to two audio sources generated within your computer. For example, audio from the internet, like YouTube, or pre-recorded audio files from media sources within your computer, such as Apple Music. 